In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a video slideshow using photos and video in Filmora 10. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? If you haven't done so already, make sure you do and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on our next video releases. Slideshow videos. Slideshow videos are a great way to compile your video footage and your photo footage and to compile it into an awesome video. You can make a video slideshow for just about any occasion. For a wedding, for a graduation, for a birthday, for your pets, for your friends, a trip that you went on, the list goes on and on. Slideshow videos are special, and it's a great starting point if you're interested in video editing. Thinking back, the first video that I ever edited was a slideshow for my family vacation. And I'm sure that's the same for all of you season editors out there. Filmora 10 has a ton of cool features, music, and effects available to you to take your videos to the next level. So if you have footage lying around on your computer or your hard drive, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take that footage and turn it into an awesome slideshow in Filmora 10. Let's go! First, you'll need Filmora 10. If you haven't updated or downloaded Filmora 10, click the link in the description to get started. Next, import the photos and videos you want to include in your video slideshow into Filmora 10 and add your favorite clips to the timeline. Now you have a base for your video slideshow. You can technically export the video now, but that might be a little boring, so let's use some features in Filmora 10 to liven up your video slideshow. Let's start by adding a title to start the slideshow and fade right into the footage. At the top, under Titles, there's a variety of titles and openers you can use and customize for your videos. For this slideshow, I'm going to keep it simple and add a basic text title against a black background. I'm going to drag and drop the black sample color to the beginning of the video. And then the text title 29 above the black sample color. Double click the text title to change and adjust the text. You can also change the animation of the text, but I like the current animation, so I'll just adjust the duration of the animation by going into the advanced setting and in the text editing timeline, sliding where the text animation begins to appear closer to the end. Now I want the title to fade right into the footage. So under the transition tab, find the fade transition and drag it between the black sample color and the first clip. I want to add some music to my slideshow, and Filmora 10 already comes with a bunch of music for you to use. Under the music tab at the top, I'm going to choose a song that best fits the vibe that I want for the slideshow. You can also import your own music files into Filmora 10, but make sure that you have the rights or permission to use the music. Before I add the song to the timeline, I want the music to match the clips in the slideshow. So I'm going to right click the song and click Beat Detection. Beat Detection will detect the downbeats of the song with markers, which will help show the best places to place your clips to match the beat of the song. Matching your clips to the music will help give your video slideshow a smooth edit and keep your viewers engaged. If you want to learn more about Beat Detection, you can check out our video linked in the description. Now I'm going to arrange the clips to the beat markers on the song and trim the song to the end of the slideshow. Now you might notice some video and photos don't match the size of the project. This will result in black bars around the clips. For some, that might be the look that you're going for. But to remove the black bars, you can do two things. You can double click on the clip and on the left editing window under Transform, you can adjust the size of the clip by sliding the slider under Scale. This will zoom in on the image and remove any black bars around the clip. For clips that are vertical, scaling the image might cut off the really cool parts you want to show in the slideshow. So another method is going to the Effects tab at the top and under Filters, and then Background Blur. Choose a background blur style you want and drag it above the vertical clip. When mixing video footage and photos, sometimes going from a video clip to a photo looks jarring. So I'm going to add transitions to the slideshow to smooth things out and add some excitement for the viewers. Filmora 10 has built-in transitions, so all you have to do is find one you like and drag it between the clips.
You can also adjust the transitions by double-clicking the transition and adjusting the duration and placement of the transition. If you have other transitions on your timeline and you don't want to adjust every single one, you can also click Apply to All and the adjustments will apply to all the transitions in the timeline. The slideshow is looking really good, but let's add a few extras to tie everything together. I want to add a vintage film effect to the entire slideshow. In the Effects tab at the top, under Filter Category and Common, I chose a 70s filter and placed it on the top track. I also wanted to add a dreamy glow to the slideshow, so I added the glow filter on another track. The glow was a little too strong, so double-clicking on it on the timeline, I'm going to adjust the alpha setting with the slider to about 20. There are so many filters and overlays included in Filmora 10, so play around with the different effects and find the right vibe and style that fits your own slideshow. To complete the slideshow, I want a smooth fade out of the video. So like we did at the beginning of the video, let's do the same at the end, by adding the black sample color and a fade transition between the last clip and the black sample color. To fade out the music, just double click the music clip and in the editing options under fade out, I'm going to move the slider to a smooth fade out to the music. Have it, a video slideshow for a trip to Paris. So as I mentioned earlier, a video slideshow can be made for all kinds of special occasions or events. It's all a matter of how you edit it and Filmora 10 makes it fun and easy to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Go out there and make your own slideshow and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So if you have footage lying around on your cat... <laughs> on your cat? Okay.